Hey guys, what's happening? Thought we'd uh, share a little shop time tonight. Um, making a handle for a die. Here's the die right here. And uh, this is going to be that die I was talking about when I tested out my <coughs> other device there. So, anyhow, um, need to make a handle for this. So, basically, what I'm doing is I'm cutting this uh, two inch tube. And basically, the die is going to sit inside the tube. Like so. My bandsaw is not cutting this. Uh, it looks like it's square, but it's really not. It's a little off square. So, what I'm having to do here is I'm going to just face it a little. So, <clears throat> got the piece in the lathe here. Let's get, get you turned around. And, uh, so I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to turn the work towards me. And I'm uh, just going to face it from the inside out, pulling the tool, the tool towards me. on there and done with that side <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the other side all right now that we got that part done let me go ahead and pause this all right so now we got the the main body done for it. Um, now i got to figure out how, what I'm thinking about doing is um, we got to put something behind it so it doesn't, you know, so when we go to put our handles on we, it doesn't just push out of the back. So what I'm thinking about doing is I got, I cut, I got another width of this and cut it into strips and I think I'm going to do something like this. So what I did was, you can see how these don't really fit in here real well. Let me see if I can spin it around so the camera. You can see there's a gap. There's a gap there in between the in between the spacer and the body. There's this gap. So what I'm going to do is, and what I've done for one is, I'm going to go and put them in the vise. I think this is the one I did already. Yeah. I just give them a little squeeze. I'm gonna give them all a little squeeze, and then once they they're squeezed, they can kind of they fill up that gap. So that'll be nice, and I'll be able to get a nice uh, TIG weld all the way around that. So that's what I'm doing here. Squeeze that sucker just a little bit, not a lot. Let's take her back over. Fit it up. Maybe she's fitting up. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you can see it closed that gap. So I'm going to do that for the rest of them and get them all filled in here, and then I'll turn the camera back on. All right. So basically, I got I got most of them done, and um, I'm on my last one. But check it out. Um, so I went to put the last one in, obviously we've been squeezing it so much we're losing distance, so what I had to do is put it up here, we're going to have to cut this one, and I just go ahead and made a little mark where we need to cut it here, and we'll just go cut it on the bandsaw real quick. Big deal. So that's that. Um, 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take and... Alright guys, we're back. And I'm um, just basically getting ready to weld this part together and uh, this is what it looks like. Just basically have it on the table here and <clears throat> I have, the, I have the, the magnet here. Just to make everything sort of sticky, I don't have to have it actually touching the, the work. It's, um, it's magnetizing everything and it's sort of keeping everything in place for us. And basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to TIG weld this joint. Okay. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and put some tacks all around right. here, and then once. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack all these in place. So um, I'm gonna have my wife hold the uh, lens over the camera, and hopefully we can see the actual well. guys so that's basically it man that's basically the TIG weld and uh, that's how I do it and um, you know it looked okay we didn't do it it wasn't awesome it wasn't perfect we got a little undercut a lot overheated but I'm gonna machine it anyway it's gonna be cool so thanks for watching